So as it says, it's a Q&A, so what we need is put your hands up, you can put your questions to our very special panel here. So first of all, hands up, who's got questions? Who's your question for? Wes. Wes? He's right here. I think a little bit embarrassing, three, three or four weeks ago in the warmer, I just kept dry reaching and like spewing. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop it. I was at home too and I just I was trying to run and I'm running around going. <laughs> That's a little bit embarrassing. Clean here, and I slid in dog poop. <laughs> 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 I had to change my top. <laughs> I lost a I lost a game for our team because we uh, we were winning by five points and uh, turned the ball over in the line and went to kick the ball out uh, on the left touch line, sliced the ball, perfect crossfield kick for their winger. And they ran in under the score and then got a conversion in one game. <laughs> so just for the Q and A se uh, session with a lot of uh, uh, in rugby players, both men and women, which has been great. Uh, so, because Wes won Player of the Month uh, for the Scottish uh, Building Society, um, he donated, really kindly donated some money to the club, and now he's coming down to uh, to speak to the kids and comes on to play a bit of rugby, so it's really good. Yeah, it's real cool, real um, family feel, and all the kids are energetic, and it's busy, and yeah, everyone's friendly, and it's nice to be, I guess, around a close, close community. Okay, and who's your question for? All of them! <laughs> Brilliant, Roy, so on you go. Funny thing, well, you don't really think about it when you're playing. Uh, you're running around. Well, for me, I'm chasing a lot of a lot of balls, so I don't have enough time to be cold. <laughs> Mine are freezing all the time. So. <laughs> um, just put them under my arms, try and get them as warm as I can whenever there's a break. Yeah, it's great. So um, the donation's going to allow us to buy a bit more kit. So. We've been growing the minis now for, I don't know, uh, 10 years now maybe here. Uh, the good thing about that is more kids means you need more kit. So yeah, we're going to get some balls, some more tackle bags uh, and, and stuff to help us uh, develop the kids a bit further in rugby. When Edinburgh Rugby said they were going to do the grassroots rugby campaign, we thought well, it was great. Uh, we knew that uh, we, had, we had a couple of players do it before. Um, but this time we had um, Wes and I think Pierre uh, both, both had their club socks on. We were really proud of that. Uh, a lot of the kids went along to watch and were really inspired that they were getting to see their club socks worn by their idols. It was really good. Really good. Why did you donate £500 for You guys are kind enough to give me the socks, not having a club here. And I don't know, that small little gesture, gesture kind of made me feel part of something, so I wanted to give back. Uh, I guess a little gesture back to you guys there. Kind of help me so I can help you guys. So yeah, it was, it was nice. I didn't have a club and I was thinking I might I'll have to wear the Edinburgh socks again, but you guys kind of gave me the socks and yes, yeah, it's part of the history back. Wes, well, you say you're a proud uh, cougar now? Well, definitely. Okay, it's bad now. <laughs> Um, I said a few times with their little gesture to give me the socks when I didn't have a club here and felt felt like I didn't have, I guess, a little home away from home and they gave me their, their socks and that kind of felt like a nice gesture and I wanted to give it back, give something back to the club. It's good that it goes back to back to the rugby and back to the, the young ones who, who bring up the game eventually.